Hello everybody, Car Dreamer here again, that other D-Class person, and I'm coming at you today on behalf of D-Class and all things D-Class related. Today I'm bringing you the D-Class news for the month of February 2018, and we got a great number of things to talk about today. But first and always, we go over the free games for Xbox and PlayStation. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First up is Shadow Warrior, the 2013 remake of the game of the same name for Xbox One. It is a first-person shooter where you play as a modern ninja fighting demonic hordes. If you need any more information than that, don't bother, you're a lost cause. <laughs> but no, really, it just sounds right off the bat an intriguing experience, it's single player. I have never played the games before, not the originals nor the remakes, so I'm kind of excited to uh, give this a shot. I've seen some positive reviews about it. So that is free till the end of the month. The second game, free from today until the 16th, is Split Second for the Xbox 360. It's a standard racing game. I mean, to me, they're all the same. I've heard of the series before. I'm not personally not into huge racing games, but they can always be fun as a uh, whimsical alternative to what you normally play. Just something to kind of give a break if you really wanted. Uh, this one I know is based in a modern era reality TV uh, type show. So if you're into racing games, definitely check it out. It's free. And then, from the 16th, we will have Assassin's Creed India for the Xbox One. Uh, you know, it's a kind of a 2.5D platformer set in the Assassin's Creed universe. Uh, I've heard they do pretty well, actually. I have them. I haven't had a chance to try them yet, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Also, come the 16th. We have for the Xbox Live Arcade from the 360, Crazy Taxi. This is an old school classic. I'm not sure there's anyone around who hasn't really played it, sampled it, seen it, or so forth. But it's kind of an arcade driver where you go around picking up passengers and you just try to get them to their destination as fast as possible, earning points. Pretty standard uh, formula, but the execution is great. It's over the top. It's a lot of fun. I played the crap out of it. Definitely recommend checking out if you don't have that. And with that all being said, let's move on to the PlayStation Network. First up, we have Knack for the PlayStation 4. Uh, developed by SIE Japan Studios and published by Sony. It's actually an exclusive for the console. Came out originally in November 2013. It is a third-person platforming beat-em-up type video game. Uh, in which Knack is a living humanoid organism that consists of relics. A large central relic is always surrounded by a varying amount of smaller relics. Um, I've actually never played this. I've heard of it. In fact, I found out recently my brother got it, and he was talking to me about it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but this is free, so I wish I had a PlayStation just to try this out. Um, so I definitely recommend if you haven't yet, check it out. Next up, we have Rhyme for the PlayStation 4. Uh, this game originally came out in 2017. It was developed by Tequila Works. It's an adventure puzzle video game in which you solve environmental puzzles. Uh, basically, this boy arrives and lands on this mysterious island after watching his father fall overboard from a boat during a storm. And the game is supposed to be based on the five stages of grief. Uh, right off the bat, I'm very intrigued by this concept. Uh, I always thought the game looked interesting, but I wasn't sure what to make of it. I was watching it when it was first coming out, and having no figured that out or um, having researched it, I'm definitely way more intrigued with this game, and it's definitely one that I'm going to pay attention to next time. Maybe there's a sale or something. I'm definitely going to pick this up. And so I definitely, because it's free for you guys on the PlayStation 4, strongly encourage you to get this. Give it a try and uh, give us a shot at D-Class. Let us know what you think about it. Then we have Star Blood Arena for the PlayStation VR. This is a first-person uh, flight simulator, for lack of a better uh, word to put it. It's, it's a flight combat simulator uh, in which you can pilot up to nine different... Um, ships and you choose between characters you can shoot in any and all directions uh there is single player co-op or multiplayer which is really good um it from what i've seen it looks really good i don't have a playstation unfortunately but 
I think it looks amazing. It would definitely be one I check out. So if you have the PlayStation VR, it's free. You got nothing to lose but the experience of a great game. So check that out. Then you have Spelunker HD on the PlayStation 3. This one's got a little bit of a convoluted origin. It's the remake of a 1985 NES port of Irem's arcade version of Tim Martin's Spelunker. So there you have it. <laughs> that That's an interesting origin. But uh, this was a PlayStation 3 downloadable title only. It's a uh, platforming game. And I really don't know too much about it, honestly. I see Spelunker, I think Spelunky, and it's not going to measure up. But honestly, I really can't say that. I've never played any of those games uh, as far as the this remake, the NES port, or the arcade. So that's unfair of me to judge. But it's free. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think down below. Then we have Mugen Souls Z, or is it Mugen Souls? I honestly don't know. But the art style looks very intriguing. Uh, this is an R sequel RPG to the first game, Mugen Souls, or Mugen Souls. Um, and basically, it's from what I gather, this person wants to conquer seven different worlds just because she thinks they're pretty. And in doing so, um, she wants to make demons and gods alike her peons, so there's no conflict. And Mugen Souls Z, or Mugen Souls, uh, takes place right after the first game. She finds there's more worlds to conquer and that there's an ultimate god of the universe. And so now she's got to conquer those as well before an ancient threat uh, destroys everything. So, interesting premise. I'm really not sure what to make of it, but I would be really curious to play it. I love a good RPG or a fun one. And so this is definitely something to check out for free if you guys have a PS3 and PlayStation Plus. Next up is Exiles N for the PlayStation Vita. That's right, the Vita. It is a inspired 90s cinematic platformer. Uh, it plays out as an exploration-driven side-scrolling adventure, and it takes place through a massive mining complex, and it's on a moody, lonely, alien world. Uh, it offers a variety of diverse locations to explore, puzzles to solve, uh, definitely some skill platforming involved, and it's got some good usage of the game's uh, pretty diverse weapon set. Uh, it boasts contributions by the legends of the 8 and 16-bit eras in Japan, including art and cutscenes from the team behind Secret of Mana, which is awesome. Can't argue that. And music from... Uh, I cannot... Just, I can't pronounce his name, but he did music for Ninja Gaiden on the, NA, uh, on the NES. So, there's definitely... A lot of good about that game uh, it makes me kind of want a PS Vita so if you have one definitely definitely download it let me know what you guys think about that because I just might get one you never know that it looks pretty darn cool and lastly we have Grand Kingdom for the PS4 and PS Vita that's right dual systems people and uh, it was originally developed and only developed for the PlayStation systems it is a tactical turn-based role-playing game, and I would argue it follows the same pretty, same formula as most tactical RPGs, very much in the vein of Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, different classes, obviously you're limited in how far you can move and in which ways you can move, different abilities, uh, depending upon class and so forth. So, I enjoy Final Fantasy Tactics, it's definitely a game I would try. If, there's, if you've never tried a tactical turn-based game, give it a shot. You never know. You might like it. It's free. You have nothing to lose. And you have two different systems that it's on. So you have even a greater chance of experiencing it. So those are all the free games coming out this month. Now with those all out of the way, let's move on to what's happening with the channel this month. I am excited. We have uh, so many things shaping up and ready to go ash has started his let's play for mamador uh, mamadora and um it's a really cool throwback castlevania-esque uh 16-bit side-scrolling action adventure game uh, i think it's really cool it's a dark moody setting and yet the heroine you play as 
doesn't oh, if she fits and doesn't fit she's so vibrant in her look and what you fight with like you start with a leaf i don't know it's really weird it's a very stark contrast in your presentation versus the atmosphere but it's really well done uh the at the backgrounds and all are beautiful it's it, there's a great detail in the game so definitely check that out i'm not going to get into a huge review obvi obviously because ash is the one doing it but i've also have played it and it's it's really good it's a lot of fun and uh we've also finished our let's play for beyond eyes so th that is just waiting to go up ash finally got a chance to try it i forced him to sit down and do it no regrets it is such a beautiful game and i can't wait for that to get up and uh, i have a let's play in the works i will be doing that as well and there's just so much going on we got so much coming together wrapping up we've really been doing well uh these last couple of months ash has really been knocking out of the park with his, with his updated thumbnails for this for the uh channel i'm really happy um and we've been communicating more with fans that's been really cool getting to know some of them getting to see what makes them tick and uh what's really cool is for up and coming youtubers uh so that's really fun too and uh it's really neat because we're all in the same boat together so we're learning from each other and we're getting different aspects from each other and i really hope that continues to grow and i you know i really definitely want to give a special shout out to one in particular and that would be uh stonebreak productions he has been really cool to talk to he had started with one of our links awakenings uh let's discuss and we've really been talking about a different a bunch of different videos topics he's got his own channel you should definitely check out it's a lot of fun he plays um a good number of indie games on the switch so that's cool to highlight the switch it's not one we've been able to do very much here on the, this channel yet but we will but he he's really been a lot of fun to talk to and we appreciate his support and his feedback and comments so with that said i actually think we're wrapping this up it's kind of a shorter video um, just because I don't want to give anything too much away. I know in the last uh, news videos we do every month, we talk about a lot, but it doesn't seem we get too far in what we talk about. We do, obviously, videos, but we don't get too much out of what we're talking about. And it's because we seem to get more hyped about the large-scale products or projects, but we don't get them done in time. So we put out other stuff that we are excited for, don't get us wrong, but... Again, it's just not what we're talking about. So just keep in mind, I've got a Let's Play going. Ash started a new one. Uh, we finished Beyond Eyes. So we've got a lot going on uh, project-wise, and we're really excited to get these out. And we also got more discussions coming. That's been a big bonus, too. We got a discussion for uh, Golden Age of Indies. So that's going to be exciting for this month. And that that's it. You know, until next time guys. Appreciate everybody's love, support, comments. Please keep it coming. Like, subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. Um you know, if you're up and coming and interested in getting into gaming uh channel as well, talk to us. Subscribe. We'll do the same. We'll support each other. Um and we can always uh you know do collaborations and such. We're always looking to grow as a community. It isn't just about Ash and I or Kiathani or, or Little C D. Uh, we, we just like to grow and get a variety of different things going. So until next time, I'm Car Dreamer, and I'll see you later.